what's up guys welcome back to another video today is on the road with pals so we stopped by this nice small bakery in winnipeg named jamel's where they have a wide variety of filipino produce so we saw the bread the ice cream things and i get to talk to one of the owners and ask her a couple questions about your culture about Filipinos in general and life here in Canada and over there in the Philippines and starting a business here in Canada a variety of things and guys honestly you guys embark something that a lot of people would love to have your spirit your jive your energy your unity and she said a lot of things pertaining to you guys are one so if a filipino leave their country and come to canada and meet up on a, a fellow filipino you are well cared for they give you clothes they give you food they, they they will actually take you in because you guys are like family it doesn't matter where you're from in the philippines you guys look out for each other and she said United we stand, divided we fall. So yeah. this video is yeah. for you guys, yeah. my fellow yeah. Filipino followers, yeah. my yeah. supporters, yeah. and I hope you guys enjoy because I did enjoy yeah. your yeah. your bread with yeah. the purple yam yeah. in there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for your love and your support. Hi. Um, without having any kids, so we came here like just a few of us, and then. We've, we've landed in a we landed this summer and what's the fun thing is that the temperature dropped to 15 degrees and that's the first challenge there. The weather temperature we were already freezing it just stopped taking the and um, the challenges of like how how you would manage yourself with that temperature and no friends no you don't know no anyone family. no family but then again it's more of a personal journey and it's more of what you want to do in your life i mean your happiness is not dependent on things or or the situation you have to create your own adventure yes. and then once you have that decision it's fun for you and everything is just falling out into places and that's when we 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 try to appreciate like Oh, we never had snow. Like back in the Philippines, this is something new for us that's already halo halo. Yeah. You know that that fresh ice. <laughs> so yeah, we try to appreciate that and appreciate the season, the spring, the changes, the fall, and then like every day you get to be appreciative that this is another new day. Yes. And then you you fix it to like we found a job, and then we go to work. Bundle up on the winter. <laughs> we remember walking, we, we don't have a car. So another challenge would be transportation on that temperature. Because it's 2013, that's where we really one of the worst I uh, think winters. Yeah. And then the snow was really high. And I've got this two sticks high and but the snow was this high. So it's really fun walking to the bus stop and then waiting, I think. One of the longest one minute in my life was waiting for the bus when it's gonna come. But then you get over it yeah. as you get along, and then you meet friends, new friends, create new families. May not be by class, but it's a community, and a lot of people, especially Filipinos, and then when they know that you, oh, you don't have families here, you can come visit us, and then they're they're very welcoming. And I think one one thing I appreciate in Canada, I. Canadians, per se, are really welcoming yeah. and they are very supportive. There are a lot of community groups, like they would offer free food, free clothing, free furniture, and then you've been into those communities, they would open free business seminars. I've attended that one as well as I'm not sure if you've heard that. No. And then there are, it's open for everyone, especially for new immigrants. And the best thing, I even enrolled in a French class. <laughs> uh, and it's open for new immigrants. So you're learning French. I did. Wow, I did, amazing. but I did not convey it. <laughs> <laughs> because of the work, I used an eight to five job, but my first job was, uh, it's kind of a shift work, 
So I think that's another challenge, but it's fun. And I really took it as a very great experience for me. I work in a call center, and then I work in um, uh, the one that the shift 24 7 kind of work. I learned the time zones of Canada. I learned the geography of Canada. So it may be tough working on a midnight shift, but that's how I learned. I I learned how to to talk. I would say in a Canadian way because I work in a call center. So you know the the proper things, the do's and don'ts, especially how you breathe, and then with how how to be how to accommodate different languages and and then interpret it in in a same level level with everyone that's kind of common like my english is kind of different from their english and sometimes their english i can't understand but i know this is an english word so that's also a challenge for me but and then i kind of okay i will translate it english translate it in filipino and then i will translate it back in another english language so yeah it, it's a fun ride yeah. especially for filipinos new immigrants it's a fun ride but once you're here actually, once you have that decision that I want to live in Canada, moving here, it's a brand new life and it's fun and make your own. And now we're brought here to this kind of business. <laughs> so what is... Um, personally, um, is it going to... <laughs> personally, I've been into kind of business mindset yeah. and I think I'm... I would say blame it to age. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm opening up my age here, but then again, uh, you reach to a point when you just wanna. If you stop, you reach to a point when you want to stop wondering. Yes. All the what ifs in your life, and then you just go, okay, I wanna do this. That's and then it's it, it's a conversation between me and my spouse, and. Open communication is really helpful in every relationship. Maybe family, friends, co-workers. So we have that relationship with my spouse. I want to we talk a lot and then hey, you know what? I want to do this. And then I she's already transitioned from employment also to a business because we have a bookkeeping um, business going on and then we got financial services going on. So I said to, to her, you know what? I want to do it myself as well. Okay, let's do it. And she's been very supportive. That's why we're here. That's amazing. Yeah. So, all right. What advice would you give to my Filipino audience that are watching? Okay. Um, well, I guess find your passion. Find what makes you happy. If you find that in your heart, everything will fall into places. The universe will conspire to give what you have in your heart. And once you're happy, everything in whatever you're doing, it won't be worth. And you'll be happy. When you're happy, you will emit the same happiness to your to your community, to your family, to your friends. And I think that's I know that's very simple, but that's from within. You find happiness within and you you'll be happy living your life, waking up every day, and every day is a blessing. And every day is a brand new, brand new day of favors, brand new day of blessings, brand new day of wonderful things coming on in your life. <laughs> yeah, basic things, happiness. Be happy and everyone will be happy. Work will not be work for you. Work will be fun. Like what we do here every day, we wake up happy. It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful business. We have a wonderful family, wonderful relationships. You find that happiness within. And yes, and leave everything to God, I guess. <laughs> For me, when I, because YouTube, mm -hmm. and going around and meeting some, a lot of Filipinos, the one thing stand out for all of them is yeah. unity. Yes. We have that, uh, we even have this word in Filipino, in Philippines, Kabayanihan. So it's a word where um, it started where we, if someone wants to move their house to another location, we will just pull the entire house and then carry everyone. And that's actually a first sign of our unity because you don't know any, everyone in your place. And that unites everyone. And everyone's happy carrying an entire house, moving to another set, to wherever you go, you you can operate it. Oh, back in the past, we have multiple islands, right? Uh, even if we don't know each other, 
when I, I spoke with Brian about the whole thing. The whole thing was like, the yes. <laughs> but for me, this is something to give back. Oh, uh, yeah. And just wanted that we appreciate it. And that's really fun. Thank you for that. They yeah. would really love this, featuring all our birds. Yeah.